it's what we're all called to do. Yeah. If, if we believe in Jesus, in Jesus, if we're following him, we're called to be his ambassadors and to represent him. And this chance to be Jesus on, on stage has, uh, people treat me differently when I'm playing Jesus or I'm in the cast. He, he's playing Jesus and I, I like to subvert that and kind of go, no, I'm just Steve and Jesus is with me and I know him, but yeah, I, I want to be his presence here as best I, I, I can. Um, but then outside of that, when people aren't looking at me as Jesus, I want to be that same person. Do you ever get recognized out there when you're... Yeah, occasionally, the grocery store. Which is pretty scary, yeah. huh? I mean, really, I mean, <laughs> uh, that's quite a thing to be doing. Now, let, let's, let's get back to um, the, just the, the, the overall uh, process here. Uh, I, I saw in the piece, and I, I watched the documentary on CTS uh, Saturday night, the full uh, 90 minutes, and we'll, we'll be running it again, and we'll give our viewers uh, information about that shortly. But um, this year, you took a real risk and did a whole new play based on the Gospel of John? Correct. Yeah, now, we. Now, why did you do that, first of all? Uh, two reasons. One, uh, you find that in these passion plays around the world, they start to stagnate if they, if they grow into themselves. So you have to stay fresh both for your audiences, and we actually change a little bit every year. There's a new scene coming in this year that I'm really excited about, really, really neat piece that's coming in. We change and we morph it a bit, but to have a major rewrite, it just energizes. The energy this year, this last year from our, our audience and from our actors, mm -hmm who now have new roles, they have new parts to play, they just get so involved and that energy and enthusiasm just spills out into the story and it's a beautiful thing to watch. So we, we, we basically, we were at the height of our growth with the Matthew script, but we said this is the time to change. Not to wait till it starts to dwindle, but give everybody a new challenge and John's a challenge. Mm -hmm. That light of the world. There's this, there's this beautiful thing that happens as, because he's in this kind of sky blue, you'll see in the documentary, mm -hmm. um, tunic. And as he walks through and people start to believe, they start revealing blue on their sleeves or, or shawls change from brown to blue. And you see this blue ripple out from him as he walks through the crowds. And then when they pull back, it pulls back. And it's this ebb and flow of this light coming into the world and being resisted and coming back and forth. Beautiful to watch. Wow. Now, uh, w w what about production values? Now, you, you mentioned that you introduce a sound system. Do you have lighting? We don't have lighting. We are just during the day, 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. shows, there is beautiful natural lighting. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was one time Stephen was, was dying and he says it is finished and his face was lit with the sunlight from behind the hill and he slumped forward into the shadows. Mm -hmm. And it's just this, it's, it gives you these goosebumps, this natural thunderstorms that have rolled in. One time when he mm -hmm. said those words, there was just this massive clap of thunder in the background. Oh. It's like God is kind of coming in and just adding mm -hmm. his own touches. So what do you do if you're halfway through the play, uh, Stephen, and it starts to rain? Well, we, we will keep going yeah. until it gets, um, I don't know, if, 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 it's, if it's too heavy of a rain or too, too windy, they'll pause the show for about 20 minutes right. and even, even send people back to their cars if it's, but we've actually only done that, I think, once. We've lost one show to one, rain. One show to rain, one show to snow, but that was yeah. like 15 years ago, I think. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the, uh, we, we, we do it kind of in all, in all weather and it's, uh, that's part of the, excitement of it is you don't quite know what it's going to be like. The actual venue, how far out of Drumheller is it? We're right on the edge. Right yeah, on the edge of Drumheller. Mm -hmm. right so yeah. people can find you pretty easily. Oh yeah, very yeah. easily, yeah. 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 yeah, we're not hard. Uh, you haven't had any dinosaurs show up? No, no, but we do have some footprints on our property. <laughs> really? Are you yes. serious? Oh yes, yeah, we had to do a study and we did find some triceratops prints. Which brings up an interesting point. I mean, th th it's one of the prime um, areas in the whole world for uh, discovering prehistoric beasts and so on. Uh, did you have environmental uh, challenges getting that property and building the buildings you built and using it as you're using it? Not in those days. I mean, it's gotten a little bit stricter since. Yeah. Now, when if you want to move or you want to work with something, you have to bring in someone just to make sure you're not going to, you know, dig up some brontosaurus or something in the backyard. But, yeah, they, they work with us to make sure that we, we can move forward. And are people coming from all parts of Canada yet, or is it mainly an Alberta crowd? We're predominantly an uh, Alberta crowd right now, but we're finding that as the word, you know, reaches out there, it's, it's like, uh, you know, Andrew and Nathaniel, come and see, you know. I mean, we're telling the greatest story ever told. We're not the author of it. 
uh, we're telling it, and we're telling it, like you said, with the highest production values, and then we leave the rest, and it's that same old kind of connection. Come and see, come and see this Jesus out in the wilderness, and uh, it's beautiful to watch it unfold. Yeah, I've, I've been impressed every, every year um, meeting people after, after the show, audience members who have come from Japan, from the Sudan, from South America and Europe, and lots of people who've seen Oberammergau, and they want to come and tell us how this compares. And um, yeah, it's, it's been... And how's the comparison? Well, you know, of course I'm biased, but, but <laughs> I've been told that this is more powerful. Really? And, and yeah. more emotional, theatrical almost film kind of epic kind of story. Yeah. It's, it's much more earthy. We're, Obrambagal is a, a beautiful piece of art, like a, yeah. a painting. Yeah. But we are, we're a little bit more wild and engaging. We're, we're more like John the Baptist crying out in the wilderness, right. prepare mm -hmm. the way. Right. And we're Canadian. Well, there you go. <laughs> now, just, well, you know, just a few more minutes left. Uh, does it ever happen, uh, Stephen, playing Jesus? Uh, probably it has happened. People come up to you and uh, they're so moved, so impressed, uh, so touched by what they've seen that they want to commit their life to the Lord. Do they ever, do they ever ask you, how, how do I do that? You know, I haven't had that no, yet. I, um, I mean, that may happen this summer. I did have an experience, I'm trying to think if it was, I think it was this last summer, um, a woman came and <clears throat> spoke to me after the show and she had seen the Passion Play in uh, 2010 and the year before that. and. Uh, she is Jewish background and said she, she came along and, and was, was really moved by the, we, we seek to be authentic in, in terms of the Jewish context. Mm. Um, there, there's some Hebrew spoken and, and just in, in terms of the, the culture of first, day, first century Israel. Mm. Um, and she said she was so moved that, uh, I don't remember the details of, of her story, but over the course of that, that year, she came to believe that Jesus is the Messiah mm. and gave, gave her life to Jesus. Mm. And she came back to the Passion Play last year because she wanted to see it again. And she came to talk to me to tell me that mm. this play was part of her story of coming to know Jesus. Mm. And uh, we had a big hug and it was, it was just really good to, to do hear the, that. Do the churches uh, in the Drumheller area or in Alberta generally uh, get engaged with this at all or promote it? Yes, yeah, uh -huh. we, we make it possible for any of our pastors to come and see it at no cost because we just want them to, to come and see what we're doing. Yeah. And they show up and they, then they bring buses. And when they bring buses, they say afterwards, there's just this incredible time of fellowship going home yeah. on the bus as they discuss and talk. Mm -hmm. And it just brings the story to life in a way that you just do not get from just reading the text. Mm -hmm. Well, friends, you, you want to um, know more about this. Now, let, me, let me put a little info page up on the screen for you. Uh, we're going to be showing the, uh, the documentary, first of all, in three stages, uh, April 3 to 5 at 6 p.m. on CTS. Now, not all of you uh, who watch our program on Global have access to CTS. Uh, if you uh, have satellite TV, you do. If you live in Edmonton or Calgary area or anywhere in southern Ontario, you do. But otherwise, you don't. But uh, for those of you who do have access, that's when we're going to be showing it in three segments. And then on Sunday, April the 8th at 10 p.m. through to 11.30 p.m., we're going to show the whole 90 minutes in one fell swoop. Uh, you can find out more about this uh, at ctstv.com slash Easter as part of our uh, Holy Week and Easter emphasis uh, for this wonderful time of the year, and we uh, hope that you'll be able to watch it. Thanks, fellas, for coming by. Thank you. And all the best. And, and by the way, it's uh, it's coming up again in July, right? July 13 to 22nd. Yeah. July 13 mm -hmm. to 22nd. So uh, people making summer plans, holidays, uh, go to Drumheller, July 13 to 22nd, and take in, and they can buy tickets right there. They buy tickets online at the on the website. Online, which is. BadlandsPassionPlay.com. BadlandsPassionPlay.com. Terrific. Okay, we'll take a break. Back with more after this.